Hi guys, Off Creek Gecko, Marty McConnell here, and today I am moving firewood because we're supposed to be getting some rain and sleet and all kinds of nasty precipitation. So I've got my little yellow cart here, and this is the wood pile. And this stuff is basically this is just where I store the bulk of my firewood. Um, there's no real reason to get it all covered up, and I've actually got all my cordwood over there right next to it and I've got another pile the fresh cut pine over in front of the house and just like wood piles everywhere but um, when it's dry out for more than a few days I can pull wood straight off of these piles and throw it right in the wood stove and we're fine um, if it rains then this stuff all obviously gets soaking wet and so I've got a rick put up in my pole barn over there and that's where I that's my go-to for like stormy weather and that's more than enough to last me like probably two weeks um so what i do is the pile like this row looks empty right but most of the wood that would grow on this row is actually in the pole barn over there so it's not really as empty as it looks i've still got about give or take about two cords of wood left um from my original pile for this year and I've got some dead standing trees and dead pollen trees over here that I need to take down. I just need to get a day off today. I've got like a half day, so we're doing half day work. Chopping, sticking, and uh, getting more lumber for, um, for my little forestry business that I'm starting. Uh, so one of these days, if I can find the right customers, I could actually like bundle these together four logs or something and charge five bucks for them that would be a thing uh i've thought about selling cordwood and it's just not worth it even at four hundred dollars a cord with a chainsaw and an axe it takes me forever to chop this stuff up so um it's not really worth the time investment to to go and do all of that but for the meantime all i do is i load it in the cart i truck it over there to the pole barn it's about 20 yards from where I'm standing it's not a very long run and just load it up on that rick and I'll take you guys inside there and show you that in a minute here but first finish loading the cart and then we'll get it on its way over there you guys are getting big let me turn this off my firewood so this is the the inside rick what you call it or um if i talk about it, i need to move wood into my pole barn like this is usually where i put it i stack it up so this stuff was stacked up after a little bit of rain so that pile i'm kind of not touching for the moment these guys have been sitting out um get them dried out so uh this was stacked up with dried wood and this is what i pull off of when it's raining uh if it hasn't been raining in a while like it hasn't the last couple days i pull straight off that stack out there go straight into the fire pit but these guys are my like little sort of emergency stash and it's basically one rick it's two of these little four foot by four foot deals just fill them up all the way to the top when things are dry and then when things are wet i got a place to go when i get dry wood and I mean, the pole barn's not totally enclosed. Uh, I actually built this myself. I don't know if I ever said that. But, you know, I put each one of these in the ground. Put the, uh, the framing around there. Built the roof. Like, the whole thing. This was actually the biggest structure that I had built before I got started on the house. So, I didn't just jump out of nowhere and build a house in the middle of the woods. You know, I got, I got some training and some experience doing little stuff like this. Um, but anyways, yeah. This is where the wood goes, so I grab these pieces. Um, this stuff over here by my feet, I don't even know if it's in the video, it probably is. This is a chunk of firewood, that's a piece of cedar, but these pieces down here are staves of oak that I cut off a big log out there. So they're in here just kind of drying out. The ends are painted so that they can dry out a little slower and hopefully without much cracking or checking. And uh, I'll use these guys to make ax handles or hatchet handles or just tool handles in general or whatever else I need a, a longer bulky piece of wood for. Um, but um, how, 
they're drying is just basically the slices that I cut off the log. So, and that was a fun project that took me way more time than it should have, but anytime I need a handle for something, I just go straight to this pile, cut me off a chunk, and in this case, I took the chainsaw and ripped a, uh, a board out of one of these for my last axe handle, and that's what this is cut from with a little skill saw, just cut it out of that board that I ripped with the chainsaw, so that was kind of a neat project. Anyway, um, firewood needs to be loaded. <laughs> sense if I'd have pulled my cart around that way, but, well, 